Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Lindsay McHale, professional dancer and choreographer. And today, I am actually going to be watching a live performance, BTS, baby, of On. And I guess they're performing um, at Central Station or something like that. But before we get into that, I have to um, tell you guys what happened. I know uh, Murphy's here with me. You want to say hi? Hi, Murphy. He's already bugging me to get into it. But um, yeah, so it's official. I went to uh, the store the other day. And <laughs> as, as I was checking out, BTS was calling my name. So yeah, no, I definitely am part of the army. Uh, I am now officially invested. I got my very first BTS magazine. And you know what? People probably thought maybe she's buying it for her kids, or maybe she's buying it. I said, no, mm -mm, hell no, I'm buying it for myself. I'm a grown-ass woman standing in line buying a BTS, but I don't care. I own it. I claim it. I love it. So let's get into it. We are going to be watching it live, and uh, let's check it out. They are a groundbreaking global phenomenon who are here in Grand Central Terminal tonight for a Grand historic Central performance, Terminal. performing on from their new album, Map of the Soul 7. Give it up for BTS! Definitely different. that for a minute this is like a really really original concept I don't think I mean me I'm sure it's happened before but I personally have never seen anyone do like um a concert live performance kind of thing from this with all these dancers coming in like I think it's a really cool vibe and honestly there was a couple times where there were so many dancers in black that I didn't even see when the other um BTS guy was coming forward to sing so the transitions were like there was so much going on that it kind of helps with their transitions coming and being like effortlessly and almost kind of like secretive in a way because I didn't see him coming. Yeah. Super sick. Hey, hey, get it, get it. So right now that's a cool uh, movement because all the dancers are facing one way and then BTS is facing another way. So it's creating a little bit of that conflict on stage where uh, it's it's really great. Hey. Hey. I love that they have so much energy and they're not even performing in front of like an in-house crowd. Get it. They're swagging on right there. Oh, super cool transition. Get it. Get it. Get it. Hey, I love that. Man, what a cool like scene this is right now with the dancers behind them, the glass, the colors, the white. Get it. They're going super hard right now too. Like that. Perfection right there. 
It's a good visual right here. That there's so much other things going on though that you're not paying attention to the guy behind him right there. Got to creep up. Look at that visual right there coming from the top. So all of that stuff is planned, y'all. Like they were probably like this choreographer probably looked at this formation from the front, from the side, from the back, from the top and created different vibes and different visuals from the same formation, but just from different angles of looking at it. So that's really intricate. Look at how they're moving into a different formation while they're walking back. Get it. Shit. This is dope. Oh, I love when they get raw Right now, having the dancers at different levels, having the people on the ground, the people standing up is not pulling focus away from BTS. So it's super, super smart and they're killing it. They're just doing small, minimal moves in the background. That way, BTS is the focus. I love it because there's no fire. There's no like lighting. This is like, it's so energized and so good without all that like focus, focus. Yeah, they're hitting that so hard. Again, the camera takes away from that. Through the drumstick. Woo! Woo! Yeah. I love it. BTS! BTS. Oh my Grand god, that's so Central good. Terminal, Map of the Soul, Seven is out now. We'll be right back. That was. Y'all, so seriously, in this moment, oh like, okay. God. Like how they're feeling right now, they're clearly catching their breath. They're like, oh my God. But what's really cool about this performance is it's really hard as a performer to give sometimes full out energy. Like it's one thing in your in rehearsals and you're like looking at yourself in the mirror, but like to perform for a crowd that isn't there. Right. So like they're doing a live performance, but a lot of times you feed off that crowd's energy. And um, when there's no one clapping for you and there's no like craziness going on and there's no one like getting hype with you, like they maintained that level of energy and that level of like crazy dancing even their backup dancers without having like a live crowd in front of them to like absorb and like give that energy back to them. So like that's a, a really crazy thing to do. And honestly, the reason this performance was so great too, it was perfection. Um, they killed it, but they didn't have all the smoke and mirrors. Like when you're in a performance and you're on stage, you can have fire, you can have, you know, uh, smoke and mirrors and all these, you know, lights and things to kind of like pull focus and add to how great the performance is. But like for them to be able to have such a great performance and there's none of that smoke and mirrors going on just goes to show you like the pure talent that they have. These guys are insanely sick. I'm such a fan. Thank you so much for putting me onto this. Um, I love this video. I actually love this live performance. Thank you so much for recommending it. I love the drum line part of it. Super, super clever. And it was a very, very smart move on their end. Thank you for watching. My name again is Lindsay McHale. Until next time, as I say with everything, this is with love and peace. Bye.